Right, so Stray's out, finally. This game's been delayed several times since it was announced on the 11th of June, 2020, and it's been on my radar ever since, so I've been pretty disappointed every time they've pushed it back. Finally though, yesterday, it was released for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, as a day one release on the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium tiers. It's developed by Blue 12 Studios after the two founders left Ubisoft for what I would imagine as obvious reasons, to pursue their own independent project. It's a third person adventure game with, you know, slight open world elements and I've got to say it is an absolutely beautiful little game with emphasis on the little but I'll get back to that. It's an open world sort of game, it's like kind of like procedural but it's got little open world elements which is nice but it's focus primarily is on exploration the narrative doesn't present itself to you easily you have to go around and explore it's not immediately obvious what your next task is but just through exploring the world you start to connect dots and work things out the puzzles as well are challenging but not very challenging they're simple but not so simple that you feel like you're just cruising and at no point do you feel like you're really ever having to put much thought into the puzzles it's just, it's just a kind of nice flow to them so you play as a stray cat who falls into a world populated by robots and the design of the world is absolutely beautiful the npc robots they feel i don't know sort of real more real than most npcs in like the fucking far cry series or something like that they just they feel like they're going about their business you're accompanied by a drone called BD1, uh, BD1, C3, uh, t uh, B12, this one's called B12. Um, so he'll assist you, he gives you like a very minimal HUD, a very minimal menu which you can collect items and there's no map which is nice. He'll also translate the robots for you because they speak their own sort of really cool, unique, garbled, robotic language, it's good. There's only one kind of enemy in the game, uh, they're called Zerks, little sort of fucking gross, little boil termite things. You're mostly going to be dealing with them in stealth sequences, there's not really any combat to speak of. At some point you get some kind of you're able to sort of attack but it's not a, an attack button there's no real combat in the game it's mostly stealth sequences and like i say puzzles some pretty simple puzzles and ways that you can get around the enemies without without getting caught and a few sprint sequences as well which are pretty nice now it is a short game i milked the absolute nipples out of this cat and i clocked in at just over four hours and i was checking every little nook and cranny and alcove possible in the map to make sure I didn't miss anything and yeah clocked in at just under four and a half hours now I will play it again to go back and get the platinum but I don't feel like the replayability is very good I feel like once you've done it you've done it it's not like there's any options or anything like that in the gameplay there's not multiple branching paths that I'm aware of it just seems to be once you've done it you've done it and that's it and it's great you know it is a, a nice little game the runtime it, it's sort of serves it well if it was too long then i feel like it could start to get annoying the little tiny bits of gameplay grievances that i have like i say that are minimal the platforming sequences are done nice but i feel like this is the one area that could have been better it's like there's a constant command button in your periphery very similar to the way the spider-man webs work in the new spider-man game you're sort of always aware on your periphery of where you can target the the corner of building or whatever or the, the lamp post it's the same with this you've always got it on the top of your head sort of thing that you where you can jump and can become a little bit distracting it's like yeah i know I, I can jump up there but the point is you can't jump everywhere it's not like a true assassin's creed style platform you can just climb up everything it's very specific what things you can jump over and it like i say it serves the game well i just feel like maybe i would have liked a bit more freedom with traversing the the city because the city's so beautiful the the combat and stealth sequences are fine they're nothing special i, I use the word combat very 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 loosely it's it's not real combat leaves a little bit to be desired but it's the real strength of it is the design it's just designed so beautifully the attention to detail with the cat and with the npc characters in the environment and even the story like i said it's a beautiful little story you found yourself getting sucked in and the first couple of minutes you get separated from your family of cats your 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 a pack of cat a, ga a, ga a gaggle a gag a, 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 a commune a, a commune of cat a, your group of cats that you're living with, you get separated from them and you fall down like a big, like a Star Wars bottomless pit. And, and just before it happens, you give out a little meow, 
I got a little scream, and I, I literally jumped off of my couch, like, no, as if I was going to, like, catch him, like, no, little fella, don't, and it, it, you just, you're, you're there, you know, straight away from the minute it opens with the soundtrack and the design and how sweet it is just to play as this cat, you're just there, it's a beautiful little game, all in all, I would give it eight scythes out of ten, little things I would change if they were doing another one, if you're just looking for a nice, relaxing, enjoyable experience where you're smiling from the minute you start it to the minute you stop it you could do no worse than getting on the ps plus subscription it's free for a week just now if you've never had it before so get yourself on it play this game it'll only take a few hours and you won't regret it